Hello, my name is Seppi, and welcome back to the Coffee Break in Minecraft. Today is Wednesday, November 1st, 2017. November. This means we need to be super careful as we found out last year the month of November is the month of the creepers. So yeah, we had creepers every episode at our gates and um, I'm a little bit concerned now because I don't see a creeper. This could mean that either they are still sleeping and they haven't realized that it's in November now or they are hiding and they are waiting for me to put away the shield and the sword so that they can um, yeah, jump on me or so. But yeah, it looks good. It seems to be all right. I can put away the shield and um, clean a little bit of the inventory because yeah, so many stuff, way too many stuff inside of my inventory. All right, um, yeah, I think I will leave those Halloween pumpkins out there because yeah it's it's still super close to Halloween uh, yesterday was Halloween and I hope you all had a great Halloween I hope you all had um, a good start into the month of November this would be, this would be fantastic when yeah, everything is alright on your side when you're happy when you're when you're really enjoying the wow we have so many fish cool and even more fish and some more fish so let's let's cook the raw salmon and the raw fish. I need to continue fishing because I still have the hope that someday I will catch a manning book and that I can enchant my sword with some manning. This would be awesome. But um, yeah, this is not uh, priority number one, but still it's, it's pretty high up. And um, so I will do some fishing today as well. I just wanted to see is there anything else I can put in here? Um, no, no. All right. So Halloween. Halloween was yesterday and I wasn't quite sure what I what I can expect from it because it was the first Halloween in the new town and um, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, I, I wasn't quite sure what, I, what is coming up because there are, of course, many children around in this, in my neighborhood. So every morning I see them running to the school bus and going to school and so on. So I thought, hmm, maybe, maybe I get a lot of trick or treat situations and I have to have some, some Halloween candy or so, but... Yeah, I, I wasn't sure. The last years, as I lived in the old town, Halloween wasn't so much of a problem. Well, it's, it's never a problem, but um, never really was of that importance in terms of having enough candies ready, because I was living in a relatively large apart apartment building and I lived in the fifth floor, so I rarely saw, or I guess I never saw. Have, have I ever seen? Well, I, I think I never saw uh, uh, a kid in a costume or so. So, well, I, I saw them sometimes on the streets, but never in front of my apartment, never at my apartment door. So, yeah, I was aware that, okay, in the old town, I don't need to buy Halloween candy because no one will show up but here I, I wasn't quite sure so I bought of course some Halloween candy and yeah no one showed up <laughs> so yeah fantastic well uh, it's, it's it's okay I mean as I said I, I wasn't sure what I can expect from Halloween what what is coming up what do I need to be prepared or not and so I decided, okay, it's, it's the first time here. Let's let's be a good a neighbor and be prepared. And no one no one rang the bell. I mean, I'm not quite sure. Maybe they tried to ring the bell, but they haven't expected or they they haven't thought that I'm at home because around the time where they usually would show up, I had only switched on the lights in one room. So I think the apartment looked rather dark and. 
yeah, maybe they thought, okay, no one is at home and um, let's, let's just skip this house. I don't know, I don't know. But um, yeah, at least I was prepared. Now I have some, I have some leftover sweets, which is not so much of a problem. Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I get the dirt piece? Yes, awesome. Which um, is not so much of a problem because I mean, there, there, there are easy ways to get rid of candy, I guess. <laughs> so. Yeah, that, that's okay. Yeah, what else? Um, the the super long weekend is awesome. It's it's still going strong. I mean, I wasn't at work since the last episode, which which is great. This is this is super. I can really get used to it. But um, yeah, tomorrow tomorrow it's it's work day again, so I have to go to work and do some some science and research and uh, more science. So what what shall I do with this bridge? Maybe what could look interesting and good would be to fill, no, to fill in some dirt here and have this one here and one over here like so. Maybe like this. this, this could be good. I just have to do the same thing at the other side. Hmm, I could, I could add some lights to the middle of the bridge. This could be interesting, but for this purpose, I need to use glowstone because pumpkins aren't looking that great. But yeah, we are, we are, we are nearly done with illuminating the pass, I guess. That's awesome. Cool. Haven't, haven't expected that I finished this project today, which results in a new problem because now I need a new project. I do have an idea because I like to have this piece of equipment, this piece of technology at the entrance of my of my mine so that I can close the mine and yeah, make everything a little bit more dramatic when I at first have to flip a lever and a huge door opens up and then I can get into the mine. I think this makes really the, let's, let's go mining process a little bit more interesting and dramatic. So yeah, I, I have to build the door at the mine. And then, yeah, what then? What then? I really like to do a larger project at some point, but I'm not quite sure what this larger project is. Also, when I build a larger thing, like a castle, temple, some something really huge, then I don't know if it really fits into the into the coffee break world. I mean, I might have to travel a little bit away from my from my main main area because I don't want to change it that much. On the other hand, I still like to have it in reach. So this will be interesting. This will be an interesting thing to do. I ha I have to to put some more thought into that. Of course, there's still the idea which I had since I traveled to Iceland for the very first time that was to have some volcanic landscape. So that's why I marked some spots because I really wanted to have some kind of volcano and fields of volcanic ash, which which is what really fascinates me when I'm in Iceland. And uh, so I traveled around. This was really in the very, very early days. No, it wasn't really in the early days of the coffee break. It was, when have I started? Uh, over, e no, half, half a year since I started or so. It was about right, I think I started sometime in the spring 2014. Oh man, I, I can't remember. Can can someone please go back into the, the history of the coffee break and find out when episode one was released? Was it March? March 2014 or so? April 2014? So um, I traveled to Iceland for the very first time in a sept uh, late August, early September 2014. So maybe about half a year into the the coffee break. And so every, everything was still 
relatively fresh and I found this piece or this this area where we had some some gravel, some large area of gravel and somewhere in this direction is also a gravel field which I marked. I like to get there but uh, I think at first I have to go to bed. So now let's let's just sleep during the night. Be prepared for some creepers in the morning because yeah, it's it's the month of November and um, and we can see. Although larger things, well, this this volcanic volcano uh, field of volcanic edge scenario thing is still a thing I like to to keep in the back of my mind and. Um, yeah, maybe maybe do it at some point. But what I really like to do next is probably to build a proper storage room. I mean, this thing is still great, but instead of having this, maybe having a real house. So with with some walls and roof and a good entrance. Maybe this is something I can do or I should do. I'm not quite sure where I will build this. Maybe, maybe even down here and replace this thing or so. I'm I haven't fully decided where, but I think this might be the the thing for the next episode that I do something like this, so that I start to build a real storage room because this thing is still a thing that doesn't really make me happy. I'm I'm not quite sure um, what I will do with this. If I will just close it off again, if I will build the house here, the new storage room the new storage building or yeah I, I, I haven't fully decided I even need to watch maybe the the first episode of the coffee break on one hand to find out when it was recorded and on the other hand to um, find out how this area looked like before I started to change it maybe I will restore it maybe I will leave it as it is because it's it's part of the story and so we need to see that there were some changes that, that I did some some work here. So maybe, well, um, as you hear, I'm I'm still still thinking about things and how I can um, do them. But um, yeah, this this is good, I guess. Okay, one, two, three, four. So next up will be this scenario at the entrance of my mind to, to make everything a little bit more dramatic. I think this, this could be then really, really cute. Really? <laughs> Ever really? Oh man, I want to do this. Ha. Huh. Okay, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, here. Yesterday, one, two, three, four. Appropriate to Halloween. I once again learned that I need to be super careful because um, as you know I love cooking and one thing I completely dislike are knives that are dull because uh, yeah, when, when I want to cut some vegetables or some fruits or anything then they the, the, the fruit or the thing I like to cut basically has to fall be be separated into two pieces when the when the knife just gets close to it so um, yeah I, I like to have my my knives sharp and um, that's always what I do so I really sharpen the knives and I make sure that yeah I, I can I can cut everything in, in a super fast and smooth way. Also it, it makes the, the cut better. So um, it's not that you you start to, to damage the, the the food you like to cut. It's more like, okay, um, yeah, you, you just cut through it and it's good. The problem is that, um, yeah, when I have those super sharp knives, they also easily cut into my finger. And uh, this is what happened yesterday. I was a little bit too ambitious cutting my my vegetable. Oh no. Cutting my vegetables and um, yeah. I haven't really paid attention suddenly. Whoops. 
I got too close to my finger and um, immediately it was bleeding because as I said I have my my my, my knife is super sharp and um, I thought okay this, this is not appropriate for Halloween when I now have this horse this is the, this tissue with some some blood stains on it this this looks perfect but um, it was just one of many mishaps that that happened in my life but uh, yeah I, I even even don't know why I started to tell you the story because it's it's a little bit embarrassing but um, for some reason I was just reminded of this and um, yeah it's it's also once again one of those I think I can now remove the the pumpkin farm because I'm I'm more or less done. Well, I, I think I will leave it there for a couple of episodes in case I, I notice another place where I haven't. Do I have? No, I don't have cool. Where I haven't uh, placed some some lights. We will check the the light situation in in just a few minutes when we have sunset again. I like just to see how how it feels to travel along this illuminated path so soon I will travel to the lighthouse and from there travel all the way back to my tower and end of the episode yeah so um why are you here cat yes you come on kitty come here come here yes you come here no Kitty. Kitty. Yes, yes, no, no, no. Wait, wait, no, no. You you can't go outdoors. Come here. Come here. Hmm. Sit down, please. Now, um, can I, can I? Well, okay. You, you can guard the entrance. That's, that's fine. That's fine by me. Oh man, this cat, this cat, this cat is, is, is something. Oh, I'm, I'm out of sticks, okay. So let's get, and you, you stay here. You can't go outdoors. I don't want to lose you, my friend. No, no, you stay there. Uh, yes. So, um, need a new project soon. I guess it will be the, the storage building. And um, since the Iceland, the Iceland report is complete. I finished it uh, last episode, so I hope you have enjoyed it. And if you do have some quest questions concerning Iceland, please let me know. I will get back to the question segment and I will answer some uh, questions I received over the course of the last month. Or so I think some of the questions are inside of my uh, note of my text text document for for quite some time I will answer them now and the first question comes from uh, Matthew Matthew asks he asks are you interested to visit Russia I have some sort of obsession with Russia I really want to visit it as you love naughty countries would it be in your destination list would Russia be in my destination list um well well um basically yes basically yes um Russia in general I I don't know that there, there are a few things I'm really interested in I really I, I what I really think it's cool is they are they're part of the of their recent history I mean it's not really a recommended travel destination to to go to Chernobyl but when you see those those pictures from Chernobyl and you see yeah, I can't place it here anymore oh I can place it there this is good um, and you see the the pictures of, of Chernobyl and that it still looks as if they would be still living there and that nothing has changed and you really can see how what what kind of decoration and um, what kind of large painting they had on the walls and so on and this is a very very distinct 
style of art. So this is really what what I think is super cool. And um, yeah, traveling to Russia. Well, there 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 is an interesting way how I can basically get to Russia and combine it with my with my interests with my interest for um, Nordic countries and that is I really would like to get to Spitsbergen one day so this the super remote island in the North Atlantic way high above Norway and on Spitsbergen there are one two some some Russian settlements because there are some some old Russian mines and um, yeah the, the the settlements still belong to Russia so by visiting Spitsbergen I would be also able to visit Russia and um, I mean that that's that's a good way to to do this right I mean I can I can see Spitsbergen I can see ice I can be in in the true Arctic in the really Arctic region so yeah, so that's this would be awesome. And yeah, there there's the same thing. I mean, those those settlements were built. I don't know when they were really established. Was it in the in the in the 60s or a little bit earlier? I, I'm not quite sure when when exactly they were were established. But they also have this spe the special and very distinct style of architecture and decoration and um, okay now now while I'm traveling back I can of course continue but now we can enjoy this this illuminated pass I mean that's cool this is awesome this is exactly how I envisioned it nice this this really looks cool so yeah um there's also there you can also find this this very distinct architecture and I think it's 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 interesting. So yes, I would like to to visit Russia, but I guess in a different way than you thought about it. Ooh, creeper! Uh, let's let's avoid this guy because I don't want to have creeper explosions next to my path. This would be bad, and it's really a long ride. I mean that that's also cool. The path is quite ooh, extensive. One of the creepers. Be, be careful. Um, yeah. Russia in general. I'm not not quite sure. I mean, there there are some some cool places, I guess. But I haven't really thought so much about it. I mean, as I said, this the history is very interesting, but. Modern Russia, I I don't know. I'm I'm quite sure they are also very very cool places and places that are worth visiting. But since I'm not really aware of those places, a stupid Enderman is stealing my dirt. Fantastic, just great, just marvelous. Well done, Mr. Ender guy. But since I have a horde of angry guys behind me, I think I will just leave him be and do his Enderman job. Yeah, the entire path is illuminated. That's yeah. That's cool. So, yeah, I, I think this this answers this question. Next time, more question answering because that's really cool. This is really the the thing I love about the coffee break that I can also get some input from you and talk about things you're interested in. So that's great. But for today, I think that's enough. Let's let's make sure that. We are safe. Secure the horse. Get in here. Cat, why are you... Can you please... I can't push the cat. The cat is basically stuck in this corner now. But... yeah, If, if you enjoy this place, you feel free, feel free to, to stay in there and guard the, guard the door. Okay. Yeah. The... 1st of November episode is already over. That's, that's also surprising. Oh man, time flies. Time really 
flies when you are when you're having fun and when you're talking about random stuff so i hope you you have a great start into november i hope you can enjoy the fall season it's but still fall season it's still relatively warm oh yes i completely forgot to talk about my hike the hike was fantastic um i was hiking on sunday and marvelous really marvelous i basically got there where i turned around one and a half week ago as i was hiking october 14th or something around this day and um yeah what was really marvelous i i got on top of two two mountains that were on the road unfortunately it was stormy and um yeah the at first everything was fine and i managed to get where i wanted to get but as i got back to the car i wanted to continue the other way i wanted to get back or i wanted to get on top of a third mountain but shortly after I was into the the hike to the to the summit of the the next mountain, I saw three very large trees being knocked over, and I thought, well, it's still windy, and um, maybe I should stop here and turn around before a large tree falls on my head or so. I mean, I don't think that this would be healthy. Uh, yeah, so, but but in general, the hike was awesome, and it's so fantastic being outdoors, enjoying the nature. It's it's really a thing where I can just think about all the things going on, and, um, yeah, just just to think about everything. So that's, that's really good. And in this case, I think we are now at the end of this episode. It's a little bit longer episode, but, well, it is what it is. I hope you have enjoyed it, and I hope you will be joining me in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, my name is Abby. See you.